Manhattan prosecutor says newly disclosed documents in Donald Trump's hush money trial contain little new information and that there should be no further delay to the trial. CBS News campaign reporter Katrina Kaufman is here in Studio 57 with more. She's also an attorney. Good to see you. Hello. So uh, walk us through the latest from the DA's office. So the DA's office is saying that these, I think, over 100,000 documents that were turned over, out of them, very little of it is actually relevant or new information. They said about 270 pages. So really they're saying that we're having this hearing on Monday where the judge is going to make an assessment about what this discovery is, what happened with it, but the case should be allowed to move forward because very little is relative, well, relevant, and some of it's really redundant information that Trump already had. So it's really not a reason to delay this trial further, and they should let it proceed in mid-April, which is the current plan. Mm. And Katrina, the judge in Trump's New York civil fraud trial has now imposed uh, what they're calling a monitorship over the Trump organization, and this is in an attempt to secure the bond. Explain what this means. So this monitor was actually previously in place, but she's now going to have an enhanced role at the organization. And she's really going to be assessing their internal, internal controls, their financial reporting, and putting new procedures in place. And it's important that she doesn't have any culpability, though. They're still responsible for reporting credible and reliable information. Another thing I thought was interesting is that they also say that the Trump organization has to inform the monitor about efforts to uh, secure surety bonds, which is what he's trying to get for the civil fraud judgment and any personal guarantees or representations that they're making in the effort to get that bond. So we might be hearing more about that today. This is effective as of yesterday when the order was released. Got it. So how soon, Katrina, could uh, the Attorney General, Letitia James, uh, move to see some of Trump's assets? Uh, you know, there are... There's a sense that this is kind of unprecedented, that we've never seen uh, this kind of pressure on an individual in, in, in it, there, there's very little precedent for this. Is, is it true that there's little precedent for this? Because the former president goes on a campaign trail and he says it's a witch hunt. And if we can't point to similar instances where people in similar circumstances have been forced to do what he's being forced to do, mm -hmm. then it does to his supporters seem as if it's a witch hunt. I think it's really the scale of it that's unprecedented. It is not unprecedented for them to freeze bank accounts or seize personal property. This is something that that's happens. That's common. You sometimes you see yeah. in the newspaper all the time. Right. You know, boat for sale at ten thousand dollars. It cost a million. You know, you see those. Yeah. That's normal. Absolutely. These are all part of New York law. This is policy that's been written. It's not unusual for this to happen. It's just the amount. You know, the scale of these properties. There are a number of states that. It's just the size of this judgment and that it's against a private person, not a corporation. So she really, she has a lot of avenues. She can freeze his bank accounts. She can uh, get a bank execution where a sheriff literally walks into a bank and they can just drain the account. And with a normal person, actually, this takes 27 days. But because the plaintiff in this case is the state, this could happen immediately. Wow. Another thing she can do is uh, she can seize personal property, um, as well as real estate, of course. But there's a longer process for that. It's about 63 days, and there's a whole procedure where they have to post notices of sale, and then there actually would be an auction on the courthouse steps after that whole process was done. Wow. Um, she can also get a restraining notice to make him not be able to just spend money while this is going on, you know, to say that you can't spend $20,000 filling up your jet when you owe the state of New York $500 million. Mm -hmm. um, but another thing worth noting is that just this morning, Trump has posted that he has almost $500 million, says he was planning to use it to fund his own campaign. The state of New York wants to take it from him. So we'll see if that means he's actually going to secure a bond today. Can I ask you really quickly, because you're a lawyer, um, does he have a case to make to the Supreme Court? Could this be argued in front of the Supreme Court that Letitia James is interfering in the 2024 election by, by, by prohibiting him uh, from deploying those assets in a way that would allow him to run. He's the presumptive Republican nominee that she's, in fact, attempting to interfere with the election. That's a great question. I mean, there's still campaign donations. You know, a person doesn't necessarily personally fund their campaign. That's done through donors as well. So um, it's a really good question mm, to ask. Yeah. It's interesting because that's what he's saying and, that, uh, yeah. and that's what his supporters are saying. Um, and again, if you're looking at it through the lens of just politics, not the legalities, Ordinary Americans are going to say, well, if they can do this to Donald Trump, and that's what he says, that is what he says. then yeah. it can happen yeah. to me, too. But, but these are also separate issues. I mean, he is being fined because of his financial practices. Right. 
for these fraudulent statements. So she could also say, you know what, Don't that's, make that's not my statements. problem. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. The right. election is a totally separate it's issue from what you've done in the state of New York. 100%, 100%. Okay, Always we'll have to, to leave the conversation you. there. Yeah. But thank, thank you, you so Katrina. much, Katrina. Thanks we appreciate this. Me.